Hi everyone. Today I have something quite special that I would like to share with you all. Here inside of my sea themed punch studio box houses some of my favorite unique style coloring books. The tape that you see here on the sides, that's not really a part of the box. I've had it for a while and it's a little beat up, so I fixed it as best I could. It's still falling apart on me, but just holding it up for right now. But when I open it up inside, I have my very unique collection of coloring books. Here lying right on top are my panoramic. I have two of these. It's a panoramic fold out style coloring book. And inside I have a collection of what's called stained glass coloring books. And these are coloring books that are done on vellum paper. So... I'm going to set the camera up so that I can give you all a better view of, of everything. So first up are my two Walter Foster Pictora coloring books. And they are a fold out panoramic um, coloring book. I have the fairies and dragons. They have a few other. Okay, here they are. They come in a few other designs. Um, here I have fair, the, the fairies and the dragons. But there's one called Paris, Nature, Knights, and Medieval. But when you open them up. This is the back. They open up to a very long accordion style fold out page and get it in as much as I can and not only is it on the front but there's a beautiful nature scene and story on the back And here you can practice drawing yourself on this page. And this one is the same. Fold out style. This is um, the dragons. And this one says featuring the artwork of John Howe from The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit movie. And goes out to this beautiful dragon and baby on, on the very first page. And you don't have to really fold them out to color them. You can actually just flip through the pages like a regular coloring book to make it easier. But when you fold it out, it folds out into one large seam. I love this. And for the back, I have a sketch page on the back, a drawing diagram. So that you can draw this dragon. Pull this one out a little to at least show the dragon. Here I have my stack of stained glass coloring books. And I'm not going to flip through each one because I don't want the video to be too long. But I'll... Flip through enough of them so you can kind of see what's going on inside of them. I have um, 
15 in my collection and this first one is the impressionist art um, Chinese designs wizards and dragons Victorian fashion Greek and Roman gods mythological creatures magical wizards eggs this one is a lot of Easter egg designs visual illusions Steampunk, and I love, love steampunk. So I also have um, this is not one of the coloring books, but my book on how to draw steampunk. Love, love steampunk. But yeah, I have here the steampunk, um, witches, Leonardo da Vinci. The old Old Testament scenes. I'm trying to get some of the glare off. The miracles of Jesus and the life of Jesus. So inside, there's these beautiful vellum pages, and it's one design for each page, front so that you. Some of them have perforated pages so if you color this it gives you instructions on how if you want you can hang it on the window you see you can see my hand through the page so what I normally do is lay a white sheet of paper under whatever page I'm coloring so that the other design how you see the other design coming through won't show through but these are a few of the pages in here Do a quick flip through. And they are all beautiful vellum design pages. And that's what's so unique about them. This one page I did in here. The scene with Adam and Eve. Uh, Some of them I do have pages that I have done in them. And see how you color it and the beautiful scene you colored comes through on the next page. And these I've I colored using Crayola, just basic Crayola coloring pencils. I haven't tried watercoloring in them yet. I haven't tried like tr Copic markers in them. It's just straight, and I haven't even tried Prismacolors on them yet. This is just everything you see is with a box of Crayola. I'm coloring in them. This is what I use. Just a regular box of Crayola um, coloring pencils. But I'm going to hurry up and give you a quick flip through. I want to keep the video under 10 minutes because it takes so long to upload the videos Big. now some of the prettier ones I have to show these to you This little wizard here for some reason this wizard I don't know if you're from anyone's familiar with the um, Septimus heap series but this wizard reminds me of the little character Septimus heap out of um, and Angie Sage's book collection so
Mit dem so. So I'm gonna hurry up. We're going a little over 10 minutes. I'm about to hurry up in. Pages are so thin and delicate. I love them. I'm pretty sure, like, if I watercolor on them, they'll probably get the wrinkly effect. But I just love coloring on them so that they can stay flat like this. This one is a thicker book. Um, I'm not 48 pages. This is a 48 page book, so it's thicker than the rest of them. And this is the Chinese design. to show you the ones that I color so you can get a, a idea of what it will look like once finished. They are very pretty. And I love this. I love this design by Davis. That's why, I mean, once I saw this, just this cover alone sold this book for me okay so i hope you all enjoyed looking at my coloring book collection sorry about that i hope you guys enjoy looking at my coloring book collection as just as much as i enjoy showing them to you and until next time thanks for watching